Planned Parenthood say the Colorado gunman who took the lives of a police officer and two of its staff was opposed to abortion. 57-year-old Robert Lewis Deere, originally from South Carolina, wounded nine others as he stormed the facility in Colorado Springs. He was eventually arrested and uttered no more baby parts, giving us an indication that his choice of location was no coincidence. So was it a terrorist attack or is this a case of just another lone deranged gunman? Hello and welcome to In Focus. Let's talk quickly about the attack. Planned Parenthood has been copying plenty of attention lately over those videos in which the sale of baby parts are discussed. Now, the organization strongly denies that, saying the videos are doctored, while others say they are authentic. I'm not going to comment either way, but what has happened is a massive backlash in an already heated debate in the United States and I guess the world. Unfortunately, murders at abortion clinics in the US, also known as women's healthcare providers, aren't new. At least eight workers have been killed since 1977 in the United States, though the recent attack was the first in six years. So is this a terrorist attack? Terrorism is defined as the unofficial or unauthorized use of violence and intimidation in the pursuit of political aims. If it's proven that Robert Deere killed three people because of his opposition to abortion, it's pretty clear that this is in fact a terrorist attack. Rightly or wrongly, we normally associate terrorism with radical Islam, but that's far from the case. Remember Timothy McVeigh? He killed more than those in the recent Paris attacks. Okay, perhaps that's an extreme example, but Anders Breivik is another that comes to mind. The terrorist that carried out the 2011 Norway attacks. He killed 77 people, most of them teenagers, because they were involved with a pro-immigration political party and it was quite racist, like Nazi racist. So despite what many believe, jihadists don't hold a monopoly on terrorism, not even close. So far, Daesh has failed to execute a single terrorist attack on US soil, but that doesn't mean the country hasn't experienced one. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.